today we have uh, a lunch with uh, what we call Evolving Women who are headquartered in Dubai who we have partnered with so that they can take our alumni to, to, to the global market especially in uh, Dubai and the Middle East. Um, it is important for our young people especially those that have finished their, their, their fourth form and the results are now out and they are trying to decide what to do with themselves. It is important for those who really did not achieve the grade to go to the university to start thinking of doing courses that are skill based. This is how they are going to build themselves because the, the, the white collar jobs are not many and uh, only few companies can be able to absorb the few that will even also go to the universities. For our nation to grow and for the world to grow, our young people must embrace the skill-based courses to become a hospitality person, to work in, as a chef, to work as a waiter, waitress, to work in the, in the housekeeping department, to be a plumber, to be an electrician. These are the very important jobs that we need for us to grow our country. Because our country will be grown by the small cottage industries that we build for ourselves. And, and through these cottage industries, even doing something for ourselves, using our hands and the skill that we'll have attained in the Tibet uh, institution, then one man after another, one person after another, then we shall be able to grow the country. Photo for KUCP uh, is open for people to apply to be able to go to this uh, TVET institutions. So any person who would want to go to whatever institution in the country, they can apply and they'll be helped to be placed to the institution they would want to go to to do the course that they desire. Every young people is gift every young person is gifted. And so we need to go back and ask ourselves as, as parents, as young people who are looking for courses, what is my gift? And that gift is what is going to take you to be able to do the course that you do. So that even when you start working, you're not just doing a job, you're doing what you're passionate about, what you love to do in and out of the country. And we've had the president say many times that uh, now the country is open, young people can go work outside of the country. And we are forming this partnership so that our people can be able to get out into the global market. It is not apparent to choose a course for a child because ordinarily, when we choose these courses for them, maybe that's not what they want to do. They go do it and then in future they don't use the, the skill that they got because it's not what they wanted to do. It should be a collaboration, it should be a conversation where we ask each other to our, ourselves as parents and our, and, our, and our children, what are you interested in? Then also observe as a child is growing up, what is it that they really love to do? Do they love to be in the kitchen? Do they love to build? Do they love to knit? Do they love to do hair? Those kind of things are the things that parents should be able to look at and know that this person can do hairdressing or this person can do tourism or this person can do hospitality. And that way then, we don't have to keep going back and forth uh, training people that are not interested in the jobs that they are doing. But when someone is interested and that is their gift, then it becomes easier for them to even get absorbed in the job market and to love what they do such that they do it with passion. Um, my name is Jennifer Kagokome. I'm a director, I'm the founding director of Amboseli Institute. And uh, Amboseli Institute, we train in hospitality, tourism and travel courses. And we have been doing this since 1996. Today, we are launching our partnership with Evolving Women. Evolving Women is a Dubai-based uh, company that helps in recruiting young women who have already uh, had, have done their diploma. So it's a post-diploma program where they enroll you for three months, retrain you so that you can work, uh, you can fit in the job market, especially internationally. And then from there, they will place you uh, in the different hotels in the UAE. The, the biggest and the best partnership is once these students have finished the training, they'll be placed in for internship for a period of uh, a year, and then after that they'll be, they, will, they will be employed. And from there, after two years, somebody can actually move from uh, the UAE and find jobs elsewhere like the US, the UK, Europe, and other parts of the world. So in the last, the previous 
Hello, I'm Clifford Diambo from Amboseli. Uh, this is my fourth intake. I'm proceeding to attachment come next month. In a, yeah, come from next month. Uh, I chose this course because it's one of my passion. Yeah, because after Form 4, I was supposed to join university, but uh, because of one or two issues that are there, so I decided not to go because I wanted to go and do agricultural engineering in the university. But now I decided, I changed my mind, and I decided I couldn't come to do hospitality management. There are so many young generation outside there. They think like uh, it is a must that you get a, a job where you have been employed to be in an office. But that one not, it is not only the opportunity. Even this, the being a chef is one of the best opportunities. Because this course, I know m most of the people doesn't want this course, but this course is one of the best course. Because uh, people are being employed even outside the country because of this course. So the generation that are outside there, as they are, they are coming up, I can encourage them to also to join in this course. My name is Gordon Smilio. I'm a student in Namboseli Institute of Hospitality and Technology. I chose this uh, course because it's, it's marketable. It's giving us a lot of uh, experience in the industry. So as I chose this is to enable me to grow my, my hobby, what I love doing. Yeah, and so the industry is good for me as, it's, as this school always gives you opportunity to go to the industry. They always give you an attachment after every, after your quarter ends. So you're all, all, always sent to the industries, go do some work, go get more experience, then come back to, to the school. The same same experience that you got from the industry, you bring it to the school so as it can work. Personally, I attend a C minus, and it's a good course, actually. Because if you don't, if you don't, okay, don't be worried if you out there, if you finish from fourth, don't be worried to come and join here. You can work with us, you can do bartending courses, you can do culinary arts courses, you can do barista and study how to work with coffee and many things. And it's a wide course, it's a very wide course. Don't just think it's all about cooking. We learn so many things. You can learn about knowing how to conduct nutrition. Personally, in my class, I'm always taught about how to handle people with um, nutrition, malnutrition, other things. You learn so many things in here. You just don't come to the kitchen every time. You have other courses in the class, and you can learn so many things. My name is Asya Riccio, and I'm the founder of Evolving Women, an organization based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, um, that is basically an end-to-end -end platform for talent development. And we're here today because we have established a partnership with Amboseli Institute of Hospitality Technology to um, present our program and enroll their graduates onto our program that enables them to travel to the Middle East for um, training and job experience. So we offer a 12 months program that allows uh, young women to train, prepare for uh, job opportunities in the global market um, with additional support uh, through coaching, uh, online and face-to-face -face training, certifications and also mentoring.